on you two. It's taken you three weeks to decide to go now. Go! We're nearly ready. Now, you have got those few notes I gave you about the things to do, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have. I'm thinking of having them bound in three <laughs> volumes. Right, now, keys. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just so you won't lose them. Thank you. Ah, oh, Jerry, good man. There you are. Now, I think this should simplify things for you. Oh, my God. Now, bear with me, bear with me. Now, this is um, a graphic representation of those notes Barbara gave you. They're in your hand. Oh, yeah, so they are. Good, good. Now, come over here, will you? Now, sit yourself down, make yourself comfortable, and just try and concentrate, all right? Now, then, once you understand the key to this, it's perfectly simple. It all depends on colour coding. Well, whereas these notes, they go under the headings and the subheadings. Oh, do they? Now, concentrate, because I only want to do this once, all right? Right. Now. <laughs> Red is for the pigs. <laughs> Yellow is for the chickens. <laughs> and blue is for the goat. <laughs> now, take red. That's pigs. <laughs> very good, very good indeed. Now, you come along your red line like this, right, all the way along the little red line, all right? until there's a little entry point represented by vertical lines. You come down here, there, and this denotes time of feed. Where you've written, time of feed. <laughs> right, right. Now, now we come to chickens, represented by... The yellow line. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Now, just to convince me that you really grasped all this, I want you to do the next one all by yourself. <laughs> really? Right. He broke my ball. Go! <laughs> We're only trying to simplify it's things. It's simple enough even for me, for heaven's sake. You're only leaving a few animals for three days. You're not handing over the Serengeti game reserve. Sorry. I mean, I'm not a child, you know. No, I know you're not. Now, you better tuck those away. You'll get caught on something. <laughs> Are those keys colour-coded? No. Right, better see for that. Get off! Get off! Get into my car and go! <laughs> now, there's the car. Boots in the back, keys in the ignition. Not colour-coded. <laughs> Get in. Get out of my life. You are lovely, Jerry. You are lovely, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we say goodbye, Barbara? <laughs> now, don't forget to ask Margot to talk to the chickens while she's feeding them, because they do like it. <laughs> I won't. I can't vouch for the actual content of the conversation. <laughs> there is Margot. Just one or two thousand last little worries. Really? Oh, well, I'm unbelievable. Now get off to Mayfair and have a lovely restful weekend. We're on our way. Bye. 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 Jerry, did I mention... Yes. <laughs> We're on our way. Bye. 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 Thank goodness. Are those all new? Yes. For three days? Yes. How much? I don't know. Seven to something. <laughs> three days? Yes. And what happens to them afterwards? It's obvious. I give them to the needy. <laughs> we'll be in Mayfair if you want us. There's the address. I gave you the address. <laughs> So that was Kojak, eh? Well, we've never seen him before, have we? No. I wonder why the postman kept saying, who loves your baby, all the time. 
Yes, he used to say it to me as well, you know. <laughs> I took it the wrong way at first, but now I see it's definitely bisexual because Kojak says it to the fat little curly one as well. <laughs> he says it to everybody. It's a funny thing to go around saying, isn't it? Yeah. All the commercials have changed since we had a television set. The news hasn't. No. Pass my drink, will you, love? I'm too flollopy. <laughs> too what? <laughs> too flollopy. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. I'm probably too flollopy to drink it, anyway. It's funny, you know, when we first got into this flat, I didn't honestly think things would work out, you know. I thought we'd be sitting on the edge of our chairs, biting our fingernails, worrying about what was going on at home. Well, we were, for the first couple of hours. Yeah, but once you get really flollopy, you're there, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Tom, we did need a break, didn't we? Yeah, we certainly did. It's working wonders. <sighs> yeah, anything? Even the telephone's got a relaxed little trill about it. <laughs> Hello? Oh, God, it's Margot! What's wrong? What's wrong? No, don't, Margot! Don't panic, Barbara. What's wrong, Margot? Margot! I have never been one to respond to Latinesque hysteria, and I'll stop shouting. <laughs> calm down, and I'll tell you. All right, I, 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 I'm sorry, Margot. Very sorry. We are quite calm. Thank you. Now, there appears to be a little problem with your generator. That's it! Blown up! Just did you it blown up? No. Jerry has merely detected that it is making a different noise. What sort of noise? A different one. Well, that's no use, yes. we, We've got to know what sort of a noise, Margot. Well, it's a sort of a gurgle. No, no, it's more of an intermittent grinding, punctuated by... No, grinding isn't quite the right word, and how can I explain it? It's, it's sort of more like a, a high-pitched whine, which is sort of punctuated by... Margot, will you stop waffling and make the plastic noise? <laughs> if you're going to be abusive, I shall hang up. No, no, Margot, no, m make the noise for me, Margot, please. I'm not very good at noises. I'll kill her. Shut up! Margot, please try. Oh, very well. <clears throat> a sort of coughing. <laughs> that wasn't the noise. That was me clearing my throat. Here comes the noise now. <laughs> Clunk! <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Are you sure it wasn't more of a... No. If I say so myself, my rendering was quite accurate. It was definitely a wee clunk. It's the bearing. It's the bearing, Margot. On what? You! Now, look, if you could get Jerry, Tom will tell him what to do. Oh, he's here now. Oh, don't come in, Jerry. You're filthy. <laughs> Jerry says it's still doing it. Don't panic, Margot! I'm not panicking. I'm awaiting instruction. All right, all right. Now, listen, Margot, listen. Tell Jerry to get the oil can and squirt a few drops onto the nipple. You just have to use words like that. <laughs> that is what it's called. The nipple under the flywheel. Now tell him, please. Very well. Jerry, you want to squirt a few drops of oil. I'm afraid I have to say this, Jerry. Onto the nipple underneath the flywheel. Gotcha. Got you, Jerry. <laughs> He's gone to do that now. What sort of weather are you having in London? I don't know. We haven't been outside the flat. Now, look, while we're waiting, has anything else gone wrong? No, nothing. Oh, Margot, you did remember to talk to the chickens like I told you. Yes, I did. And very silly, I felt, too. Mrs. Weaver was looking over the fence at the time. Now, look, Margot, the oil is in the oil can marked oil. I think Jerry's level of initiative is sufficient to work that one out. Sorry. Oh, and you do realise that the light switch in the pigsty works upside down, don't you? Mm, trial and error pulled us through that one. <laughs> uh, and did we say to remember to milk the goat from the right-hand side? Yes, you did. Several times. And, and, and if you need the keys to anything, they're round Jerry's neck? No, not anymore. Why not? You haven't lost them. No. They are quite safe in the top drawer of my bureau. I simply couldn't stand Jerry clanking round the house like a nougat turn. <laughs> Tell them their infernal machine's running normally again. Yes. Jerry says the generator is running normally again. Oh, thank heaven! Panic over, Margot. I was never in a panic. Round the back, <laughs> <it's> Jerry. <laughs> I'll say goodnight now. No, no. What? Now, look, will you promise me to telephone us the minute anything else goes wrong? Now, will you promise? Yes, I promise. Yes, now, but you will promise, won't you? I just did. Now, good night. Any, any time at all, night or day? Yes, now, for goodness sake, put your receiver down and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we 
flapped a bit there, didn't we? Just a bit. <laughs> well, you heard what Auntie said. Go to bed. Oh. Now, is there anything else we forgot? He does have black silk sheets. Does he? <laughs> <laughs>